Amanda. <laughs> hi, hi. Oh hi. my God. Good to How see you, you again. To see you Amazing. Amazing. Welcome, Thank welcome. You so much. Hey, that'll wake you up uh, more than a fresh cup of coffee in the morning, right? <laughs> Thank you, guys. Amazing performance. Thank you. Wow. So, Introvert. <gasps> yes. That's the song. Oh, I you thought think? you were talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about both of you, actually. Exactly. So, congratulations. Brand new single. I love that track. I've heard it over and over again. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you so much, man. We've talked a little bit about how this track came about. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about it, like how you came up with Introvert and what's the story behind mm. it? Okay, I... Uh, where do I start? Okay. Uh, one day, uh, Randy and P came up with the idea. Uh, my producer, partner, mm -hmm. yeah. came up with the idea this kind of lazy Sunday type of beat. Mm -hmm. So, um, which is the beat is very laid back and very chill. Mm -hmm. I think it resonates my personality, I guess. <laughs> 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 so I, I feel connected to it. I listen to it more and more. And the, way I, the, the more I listen to it, the more r repetitive the way it sounds, mm -hmm. it's like going in a circle mm -hmm. because the beat goes like boom, boom, and then and, and there's only two chords in it, mm -hmm. in songs, mm -hmm. like dang, 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 and it goes on and on, on and on. It's like going in a circle. When I feel connected, I start thinking about, it sounds like my everyday life. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of repetitive all over again, given right. the way I'm, I'm avoiding social interaction, ignoring calls. The way I, I decided not to go out because... This, uh, by the way, yeah. this was in the middle of a pandemic, pandemic. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people were... Feeling. Yeah, the way I, I decided not to go out because sometimes I feel very superior when I'm alone in my own room. Mm. <laughs> okay. You're in your world. Yeah, so, so uh, I write all this stuff. Like, obviously, it's, it's on all the whole lyrics. So I try to capture all the details of my situation into a fun and literal words. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I guess uh, it's done very well because I like the, the result. <laughs> right. uh, well, you, you heard the lyrics, so how yeah. do you, I can imagine I can you relate. very much relate to that. Oh my right? God, I can so relate. I mean, except for the social media part though. Yeah. Like I don't open because I don't have Instagram. I do have to oh, really? I follow no one. So it's like the social media part is like, it's not relatable to me, but yeah. the rest, absolutely. Yeah. In fact, you know, I actually really, really enjoyed the fact that we were forced to be home mm -hmm. um, during the pandemic. So yeah. I totally get your song. <laughs> totally, totally. And this is actually, the, is, is this going to be the first song? Well, it is the first song of your new EP, right? Which yep. is Midnight Notion. Now tell us yes. a little bit about that, Midnight Notion. Why is it Midnight Notion? What sort of ideas, what sort of notions are you putting in this EP? <laughs> Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to call Midnight Notion. It's mm -hmm. obviously created during that time, Midnight Till Dawn. Yes. Mm. Um, you're, you're a bit nocturnal. Yeah. You, yeah. you stay it's, up late. I think it's a buddy clock problem. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Most musicians are more creative at night. But yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, I that's tend true. to think. And that. also artists and fashion designers. Yeah, right? yeah. Because uh, every thought of, uh, thought of mine, it become crystal clear during that time. I don't know. Mm. I get more... Uh, I, my brain works mm -hmm. like twice harder at that time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, it's going to be a midnight notion for me because there's always a, there's going to be a seven tracks, mm -hmm. okay. a new tracks, including the, the, the single itself, the introvert. Um, I got a couple of songs, but not all of it. I'm just trying to have fun on this project and I hope people will, will vibe to it. Mm. <laughs> Are you working together with, apart from your producer, yep. um, anyone else that you're collaborating with in uh, some of the songs that are upcoming? Mia. Yeah. Yes? Ooh. Uh, so uh, there's also, uh, besides uh, Randy and P, also Kenny Grab Gabriel and Ooh. Greybox. Greybox yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, Greybox. Oh. These are great producers, by wow. the way. How did you, did you select your, uh, the people that you want to uh, work with? Because I noticed all of these producers that you're selecting are very niche producers and they're very talented in their own way, but they all have different styles. Yeah, uh, basically because I know them first. Okay. Mm. So uh, we we done a lot of workshop. Like I got a lot of uh, a bangs, uh, a song bangs. In, okay. And in, in, in their PC or laptop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. Because I know them first, and we make a couple of workshop. I always do some kind of um, create a song in 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 the middle of a hanging out. 
Mm -hmm. with them. Jam so, sessions. Sessions, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So basically it's kind of a chill situation where when I meet them and then go to work on a songs or to uh, like something like that. Mm -hmm. It's always like that. Okay. That's so really Plenty cool. of material to choose from. I, I really look forward to the Midnight Notion. When are you going to release the EP? Uh, probably this year, but mm -hmm. I can... I can give you a specific date because <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not consistent with my answer. <laughs> you might not be able to fulfill your promise. <laughs> um, so previously, your work used to be mostly centered around the topic of love. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose to go in a different direction this time around? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe um, I see some uh, new perspective uh, when I see things now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Such as? Um, social life, a social interaction, the way mm. you see people on social media. Mm. Mm. Because, okay, let's get vulnerable in this morning. I, I was in love a couple of years ago. Right, okay. right. A very deep one. Mm. Uh, and then after the album, the relationship ends. Aww. And then becomes, I, I experiencing um, a writer's block for like right. years. Right, right. okay. Because right. yeah, that was where you drew your inspiration from before, love. Yeah. right? When you were in love. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, it took me like three to four years to get myself together back in the studio. Oh, wow. Wow, that took a while. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and start releasing uh, uh, one song each year. That's very unproductive, by the way. Wow. Well, <laughs> what is productive, right? right? I mean, it's like, because I can imagine an artist, sometimes when they create something absolutely brilliant, mm -hmm. they have to... It's not that they have to, but usually it's when they are in a state of, mm. you know, like heightened, heightened emotion. Right? Yeah, yeah, either it's right. distress or it can be like when they're absolutely in love or absolutely desperate <laughs> or yeah. absolutely depressed. You know, because like, I still remember Chris Martin when he was in the middle of separating or un un a conscious decoupling or uncoupling mm. with Gwyneth Paltrow. Is that, what, is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, right, conscious know, okay. uncoupling. Yeah, okay. it, it became a thing because mm. of Chris Martin and Gwyneth mm. Paltrow. Mm. And then back in 2014, he, you know, gave birth to this brilliant album that was absolutely minimalistic, but absolutely heartfelt. And that became just my favorite album. So go on with your story. <laughs> yeah, so um, I overcome my situation mm. and, and realized that Life is not just about love. <laughs> Interesting. Right. Go on, go on. What do you mean? Love is not only about yeah, love. Life, not just only about love because mm. um, songs is not always about it. Mm. It's not about the love songs. So, so mm. we, can, we can freely write a song about anything. Mm. Mm. And I remember one of my friends, Jeff and Julian. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Jeff and Julian. Jeff and Julian um, asked me once, like, why? Uh, why don't you write a song that describes you getting stuck about life? Mm. And at the moment, I feel I feel very woke, and mm -hmm. I don't like it because it's right. <laughs> 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 like damn, you read into my soul. <laughs> and then, um, and here it is, the, the introvert. It's like me being vulnerable in a fun way. <laughs> yes, yes. And I think vulnerability is the word these days. <laughs> like, because when you're vulnerable, suddenly you open up and people can connect with you in, in a more intimate right. way, in a way. So how have you changed over the years, Teza? Because I remember when I first came across your music and I think when I interviewed you uh, for the first time that was the beginning of your career back in 2014 so it, it has been eight years of yeah. your life as a musician as an artist how have you changed in terms of writing in terms of arranging music just in terms of you as an artist um i think i'm more like being honest mm. now mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm embracing honesty Mm -hmm. uh, and myself, because maybe it will be more relatable to people. Interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was gonna say, like, um, mm -hmm. you know, when you talk about love, not everyone can relate because not everyone is in love at that particular time. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the stuff that you talked about, especially an introvert, is stuff that everyone has experienced at one point or another, mm -hmm. you know, either kind of loneliness or pulling away. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, a lot of R&B singers do try 
they, they tend to fall in that comfort zone where they just, hey, let's talk about love and relationship mm -hmm. because that's what all R&B songs are about. Mm -hmm. And I'm really, it's really refreshing, just kind of like this new take on things. Mm -hmm. No, thanks, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so looking ahead, um, the music industry has gotten much better. Yep. It's healing. I think we all are healing uh, in a sense as well. Um, where do you see us now uh, in regards to you as an artist, us as the audience? Um, I know that uh, you have already performed live in several events. Um, where do you see us right now in our situation? I think it's getting interesting because we have a different variety of genre now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, it, like, it, it grows really f fast because uh, we have this kind of accessible place we call internet, yeah, yes. true. social media, and yeah. music digital uh, platform. <coughs> just one click away, and and I really love to see how this. Um, as millennials, I, I see Gen Z is really woke and um, and is really creative about yeah. about uh, anything. Yes. <clears throat> so I feel more music and um, local music is living now. Mm -hmm. And it's liberating because I, f I feel really connected with music. Mm. So I'm very proud of it. <laughs> I think it's a good time to be a young artist these yeah. days. It is, absolutely. And speaking of feeling liberated, it seems that you are liberating yourself from not only singing, but also now DJing. Because Carol <laughs> mentioned earlier, it's like, gee, DJ now as well. Tell us about this, like your side projects. Um, no, basically, um, DJing is not my side project. It's like, <laughs> it's like a, a chill project at a home. A hobby. Chill project yeah, at home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right now, I'm really focusing about what I have to do now, which mm -hmm. is releasing more music to come. Mm -hmm. okay. Because mm -hmm. I got that line to be done. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my label, Dominion Records. <laughs> yeah. right. And um, oh, I'm selling a merch. Oh! oh what? <laughs> what have you got? Uh, basically a bundling between uh, the the t-shirt and also the card game with this song the, the, the album. Oh, the song okay oh how cute is that <laughs> yeah Save where can us. we get access yeah. to that uh, it's uh, it will be available online uh, by next week i guess all right oh my god how exciting <laughs> i love shopping <laughs> me too <laughs> perfect I love card, and i love card games so oh hey, there you go there you go right all right hey speaking of games yes. uh we're gonna invite uh Teza to play a game with us What's for the game? Um, we're playing? going to, okay, so obviously he's very talented. You're very Super. talented. Um, and you have a certain distinct style with your voice, the way you sing. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a bit of a challenge. <laughs> we're going to give you songs from different genres. We're going to put it up on the screen first, have you look at I'm it. And we're going to have you sing it in your own style. <laughs> the Teza Somendra way. Okay. All right, here we go. So let's start so with that first. And you may remove your mask for this, by the way, so you can sing properly. Yes. Any excuse we get to get him to sing again. Right? Exactly. <laughs> there we go. Exactly. Let's start with our first one. Should I touch the screen or will the uh, screen I think you play just, itself? Just wave at it. Maybe okay. Hey, okay. Go. Go. <laughs> Put the lyrics up for you. Don't worry. So, <laughs> but feel free to. Okay, the lyrics put the is lyrics actually up, on, uh, up there. Up you. there, oh, for you. So you can. So now you just do your own twist. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm gonna try. Cara yang kau temui untuk kita kembali lagi. Okay. Is it is it wrong if I say I like this version better? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, I think that was too easy. 
okay. was a little bit too easy. What about give uh, a tougher one? Uh, what about <laughs> Dang Du Genre? What do you, you listen think? to Dang Du? Uh, yeah. Oh really? Of uh -oh. course. It might be too easy for him. Let's let's uh, let's put another one up. Okay, we, we I think oh, it's yeah. Roma Irama that we've chosen, mm. no? Yeah, I hope so. Okay, gone. King. Long uh, live the king! Yeah, indeed. <laughs> our Elvis. Oh, our own Elvis. Yeah. All right. Aku jadi penasaran Sampai mati pun akan ku perjuangkan Oh my god Oh my goodness That uh, was hot You can do it all I know <laughs> Can we do okay. another one? No. I definitely like that version better. <laughs> Let's, can, can we? Can we? Can we? Do, can we? do we have yeah, one more? Can we do it again? Right. Do it again? <laughs> oh. do we have one more? Do we have one more? Can we please have one more? <laughs> no, that's it. I think all the right, that's all the time we have. Time hey, Tessa, thank you so much. We know you're not. Uh, we know you're <laughs> nocturnal, so thank you extra. <laughs> <laughs> extra much for coming in this Thank early so in the morning fun. and entertaining all of us here. Oh, and all of you likewise. Oh. We wish so happy you, uh, to be here. I have fun. Yeah, oh, get some yeah. sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, after yeah. Hey, we look forward to your uh, obviously your merch, but we very much look forward to your upcoming EP Midnight and hope that it gets released sooner than later. Yes, it's been a while. Thank you so much, Teza. We'll right. see you again. Success to you. Fun, huh? <laughs> all right, we're gonna take a short break here, guys, on the Sea Morning Show. We still have plenty more to come. In case you were just joining us, wow, you really missed out. But we're gonna recap some of our <laughs> earlier top stories for you when we return. Stay with us. The Sea Morning Show will be right back. Uh